The Bible teaches that in the end days, an apostasy will sweep this earth unlike anything ever seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in these days now. There is a generation that will produce churches that are completely indistinguishable from the nightclubs and bars of the world, yet they still claim to be Christians. The music. The light. The crowds. It looks like a rock concert. And the lines around the block are enough to make any nightclub envious. But this, this is church. There is a generation of Christians that are completely indistinguishable from the lost heathen world in their personal appearance, yet they still claim to be Christians. We'll walk down this runway. <laughs> Bucket list. He seems to revel in the spotlight, but Lentz would prefer you focus on his preaching rather than his wardrobe. He says he's been blocked from visiting inmates because prison staff thought he looked more like a criminal than a cleric. There is a generation of Christians that simply cannot give a straight answer to even the most basic Bible question, yet they still claim to be Christians. Do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? No, I believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, in the way I read that, Jesus said, he is the, he's the road marker, he's the map. So I think God loves people so much that whether they accept or reject him, he's still gracious and he's still moving. There is a generation of Christians that when they worship, it sounds nothing short of utter confusion, yet they still claim to be Christians. a generation of Christians that actually cuss while they're worshiping God, and yet they still claim to be Christians. Even when the fight seems lost, I'll praise you. Even when it hurts like hell, I'll praise you. Not only that, there is a generation of Christians that will put half-naked people on stage in front of their church while they're worshiping and still look you in the face and claim that they're Christians. There is a generation of Christians that lives such immoral, loose lives that even the world is taken back that these people claim to be Christians. And yet they still claim to be Christians. There is a generation of Christians that won't stand on any social issues of the day, especially abortion, and yet they still claim to be Christians. Strong, huge millennial crowds but it's still evangelical. So where do you stand on social issues that, that young people are particularly passionate about, like gay marriage, abortion? Like, how do you address those types of things? So it's not a sin in your church to have an abortion? Um, that's the kind of conversation we would have, finding out your story, where you're from, what Work you believe. Work through it, like talk yeah, about Yeah, I mean, God's the judge. People have to live to their own convictions, and I think if I have to tell you, uh, there is a generation of Christians that will not stand against homosexuality, and yet they still claim to be Christians. Are gay men and women welcome in the church? Absolutely. We have a lot of gay men and women in our church, and I pray we always do. It's not our place to tell anyone how they should live. It's, that's their journey. Every article I've read about you guys says he declined to discuss gay marriage. Yeah, it's a misquote because I do discuss it, just not the way people want me to. When it comes to homosexuality, I refuse to let uh, another human being or a, a, a immediate moment uh, dictate how we approach it. Jesus was in the thick of uh, an era where homosexuality, just like it is today, was wildly prevalent. 
and I'm still waiting for someone to show me the quote where Jesus addressed it on the record in front of people. You won't find it because he never did. There is a generation of Christians and they are the first ones in history, but they are actually accepted and adored by the LGBTQ crowd. And yet they still claim to be Christians. Next guest has been compared to everyone from Adele to Amy Winehouse. Her new CD just debuted at number one. She's amazing. Here to perform Still Rolling Stones. Please welcome Lauren Daigle. There is a generation of Christians that claims that they love God and respect Him for who He is yet use wildly irreverent terms when speaking about him, and yet they still claim to be Christians. And at that point, it was my eighth year. <laughs> and so, so I was time. like, okay, Lord, I got you, boo. And so I just kind of went into a little season of rest. And Ladies and gentlemen, it's time that Christians wake up and realize that Satan is not walking around with red horns and a pitchfork. Satan's wearing a leather jacket, and he's standing behind a pulpit. And it's also time that God's people realize there is a huge difference between Bible-believing Christianity and this Hillsong stuff, which is nothing more than a mixture of modernistic Protestant Pentecostalism, New Age religion, and charismatic apostasy. But then again, who am I to judge? I'm just a guy with a Bible. Hmm. God bless you.